Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> Can we start with team news? Aaron Moy, will he be fit? He's back in training, so um, hopefully we have to see how his body is reacting today. But um, it's the only the only one who um, had like the, the slight, uh, he's got slight problems than the week before. Otherwise, it's just like uh, Zangs. Zangs has a, a cold. Is it cold? Yeah, I think had problems with it, and uh, might be that he's not available. But every other one is available from the squad. I would say it's been a tough few weeks, so. What would a win over Manchester United mean for you and for the players? A win is always great, and uh, I think it's, it would be a, it would give us a good feeling, and uh, it would give something back to the supporters. I would say. Do you believe that, that winning becomes a habit, and maybe that losing becomes a habit as well? Is it important to break that that sequence of defeats before yeah. the end of the season? Yeah, we want to break that down. So. Um, I think uh, to to win games or more games, you need a winning feeling, and it must be installed. And uh, of course, we're working on it. You had that winning feeling against Manchester United last season. Can you feed off that the fact that you've already beaten them at the John Smith Stadium? And, and can you give the the fans a memory <laughs> to take into the summer, a memory of, of beating Manchester United? Well, Luna Solskjaer was calling now. I think yeah, this is. <laughs> Big fine for you, my friend. Huh? <laughs> um, I would say, like uh, from each game which you won, you know, I of course observed every game and watched at it when um, when we won against another team or even the games before. I had a look at them, so um, it's it's a normal day work for me yeah, to be prepared for it. Excuse me. And um, for me, it's important, like um, that, it would give us a big boost. I would say if you could win this game, and of course the players know that they won it. But it has been in, in the past, so for us it's now to focus that we have a possibility to go in the last game, and I think the last home game in the Premier League we should make it special. How do you go about beating Manchester United? Is it playing with that intensity? Uh, I, obviously, you all know that I like intensity, so I won't change it. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has confirmed that David De Gea will start the game. Mm -hmm. Is there an opportunity there to to put him? Under pressure, and maybe to try and force a, another mistake from him. First of all, I think he's a great goalkeeper. This is an important thing, and you know that I don't talk so much about players who are in another squad and not in my squad. So for me, it's just about uh, we have to focus on our game and on our um, on our possibilities, how we can hurt them. Have you made up your mind yet regarding the players that you would like here? next season, do you plan to, to sit down with the players and have those conversations? Yeah, we are, we are planning the whole time uh, and this is a process now which began when I took over to be fair and um, now we have two more games and I'm, I'm very clear and I'm talking to the board and uh, obviously you know that we have a head of recruitment and we are with Josh Marsh and we are we are talking to each other and have our idea how we can um, is it transform the squad, Yeah, how we can uh, improve our squad. And then it's for me clear that I have all my views now to the players. Yeah. Do you anticipate a lot of change then this summer? It could be. So you know, obviously, also all players have ideas, and um, you know, football life is very quick and vivid. I would say, yeah, in those times, players have ideas. The club has have uh, has ideas, and we from our side should have an idea how we should go into the next season. And I'll have it. It's clear for me, and I'm in exchange with the board and um, our recruitment about it. So. Yeah, this is important for me to tell because it could be then that there are some players this weekend who maybe have their last home game in, in Huddersfield and uh, I think they should give everything because they deserve much from the club and it could be that they have players on the squad who would stay here next year and it, so they definitely have to fight for something and it could be that there will be some players on the squad uh, this weekend who may, uh, who may be still fighting for their, for their future here. So I think we have good reasons to fight for in the, in the last home game.